All right, what's going on YouTube? Miguel here bringing you guys episode 14 of Project Pony. So if you guys watched last week's video, then you already know we finished a full black interior swap on the Mustang. And if you pay close attention, there was one piece that we didn't swap out, we didn't paint, we didn't touch, we didn't do anything at all. That's gonna be the steering wheel. So I thought about it, I was like, you know, I could get a new like fancy steering wheel, maybe a little bit suede, Alcantara, whatever. But I was like, you know what? I was doing some shopping online and I found this steering wheel. Already came with the airbag. As you guys know, my car was in an accident, which is why I don't have an airbag. I'm gonna go ahead and swap this one in there. It should be pretty straightforward, so let's get into it. All right, so let me give you guys a better look. This right here is gonna be our new steering wheel. Again, nothing too fancy. I believe this came off either a 98 or a 99. I don't remember exactly, but either way, it should just fit in there. Should just, you know, replace perfectly. And I actually got a pretty good deal on this. So I've been shopping for a new steering wheel for like the longest time now. And I can't find one that comes with the steering wheel and the airbag for a decent price. You know, usually these are sold separately and you're looking at about 500 bucks. I paid less than half of that for both of them together. So, you know, I, I'd say that's a W right there. But another W, you know, we just did a black interior swap. This is already black. I don't have to paint it. I don't have to do anything. And then the buttons. So mine doesn't actually have the buttons. I mean, it does, but I think they're broken and like the little clips right here, they don't really attach back there anymore. This one already has it in. So again, that's another another reason why I went out and bought this like as soon as I saw it. Shout out to Nate, you know, appreciate you. But you know, enough talk, you know, let's hop. All right, so let me just show you guys real quick. My old steering wheel. Oh God, you can't even see it here. Yeah, right here, it's broken. Again, the airbag went off, so it's not really in use. I really only have two lights on my dash right now as you can see the airbag is blinking and then right there that's my coolant i need a coolant flush we're not gonna worry about that right now i'm probably gonna take the car to work do that there and then replace the tank eventually maybe even next week who knows but yeah this steering wheel is kind of disgusting it's got this little like steering wheel wrap thing that i mean it's nice it's it's okay i guess but i don't know it's getting kind of old kind of beat up Again, it's, it's that two-tone like black and gray. I don't know why it's like that. I don't like that. So I'm gonna take this off, put that new one on there. And then, you know, this this black interior swap should be done. And I'm showing you guys again, cause I still can't get over how good this looks. You know, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. A lot of you guys already did. I just, I can't get over how good this looks. I did an amazing job, but enough about that. Let's actually go ahead and get started on this. All right, so first things first, I've never taken an airbag to the face. I don't think I want to take an airbag to the face. We're going to have to unplug the battery real quick just to be safe. And then from there, we can actually go ahead and take off, you know, the steering wheel. All right, come over here. It's going to be a little 13 mil. Battery officially unplugged. Let's actually, you know, take off the steering wheel. Okay, so first things first, you want to want to take off your old airbag. To do that, it's pretty simple. You got one eight millimeter bolt right here and then another one over here on this side pretty straightforward to take out this is really all you need if you actually have like little like plastic covers on yours you know obviously take those off first and then after you take those off this should pop right off all right with those two bolts out airbag should just slide off okay yeah just like that pretty simple it looks like back here you're gonna have this clip you want to take off and then i think you just pull off the steering wheel at that okay, point. Okay, once you unhook your airbag, there's, you know, this cable holding the actual airbag in place, and then there's this other cable up here. Those two are the only ones you need to unplug, and then the next thing you wanna get is gonna be, you know, this bolt off right here. All right, so that bolt right there, that's gonna be a T50. Just put that in there. And then this should come out, you know, pretty easy. All right, now that that bolt's out of the way, here comes the fun part. So to take this out, it's gonna go either one or two ways. You're gonna pull really hard on it and it's gonna slide right out pretty easy or you're gonna need a steering wheel puller. I'm hoping I don't need to go get a steering wheel puller because, you know, this should just be a pretty straightforward swap. You know, nothing too crazy going on here. I mean, we're, we're about to find out. Okay, so forget what I said about the steering wheel puller. This came off pretty easy. I say easy, you do have to pull on pretty hard about this. I pulled, you know, from top and the bottom and then also like side to side just to get that out. After about like two minutes of struggling, it finally came out. So after this, we're ready to put in the new one. All right, so to throw your new one back on, again, same thing, pretty straightforward. Just, you know, pop it on there, connect these right here and then put your airbag back on. You guys can probably see, you know, this is already, you know, put together. So I am gonna have to, you know, 
take out the airbag on this one, feed it on here, connect it, put everything back together. This is is pretty simple. This is it's honestly easy. The hardest part is just taking like the airbag off the whole thing. Well, not the airbag, like the steering wheel off. This is a pretty straightforward swap. This literally took me about like maybe I don't know five minutes max to do, but. I mean, yeah, we're pretty much almost done with this. I'm gonna keep saying this, super easy swap. We're already pretty much done. You just slide on your new steering wheel onto that little like stud bolt thing right here. Just slap that bolt back in. Make sure you feed your wires through and you're pretty much done. And then all you would have to do is grab your old airbag, yellow wire, goes up top right here. And then this, you wanna probably plug in first before you put the airbag on. That just is gonna connect up here and you're done. Super easy. This was the last piece I needed for this amazing black interior swab, which I'm gonna keep talking about. But one thing I do gotta mention, you know, this steering wheel is pretty much OEM. If you get like a aftermarket steering wheel, you are gonna to have to transfer over some pieces. Like, you know, let's say you wanna keep like these buttons right here. You would have to take those off and then put them on your new steering wheel. You know, just something to keep in mind if you're doing this job or if you're planning on doing this job. This is super easy. Like I said, I'm already done. All I gotta do is plug in two wires, put two bolts back in, and then we're good to go. I'm really just talking right now just to make this video longer. You know, gotta have, you know, that, that 10 minute mark, even though it's probably not gonna be 10 minutes, but either way, I'm gonna finish this and we're gonna call it a day. Okay, so one thing I noticed in here, if you look right here, the, the plastic is broken. I didn't realize it when I took the old, or not the old, but when I took the airbag off for the first time, it's a little bit broken right there. You know, kind of disappointed. I figured, you know, this is, it looked in pretty good condition. I figured, you know, everything would be fine, but it's just a tiny little piece. I don't think it really matters. All right, y'all, here's the new steering wheel. As you can see, popped it right back in. Already looks amazing. It just goes nicely with our new black interior. Again, I'm gonna keep saying it. It looks amazing. But anyways, new steering wheel's in. Look at the old one, bro. Look how gross this was. Like, look just all that like gunk and i don't even know what it is like the airbag is paint was peeling of course you know it's popped this was actually the hardest thing that i did today was getting this thing off so this has been on there for i don't know probably years at this point and i kind of had to like nah, i wouldn't say i had to like break it off but i mean it was already broken i just you know finished it off but i mean yo look at this i mean look how beat up this was like it's supposed to be leather wrapped you can see like the stitching right here just all peeling it's all gross i don't even know how this happens doesn't matter new steering wheels in and we're pretty much done right here it's gonna be a quick one for this week we're pretty much done in here new steering wheels in it looks amazing all i really have to do now is just plug the battery back in and you know we're done for today or at least when i'm doing it on camera i have one more light on my dash i need to worry about and that's the coolant flush i gotta bleed my brakes uh that's a story for another day but i have to bleed my brakes on this car which is why i haven't been driving it i have no brakes right now and of course you know my battery it's been dead i haven't been able to drive it around so the alternator can't charge the battery why does that matter i'm gonna bleed my brakes probably after this because i want to take my car to i want to take my car to work one of these days just so i can get a coolant flush done over there you know the shop hasn't really been that busy in the past couple weeks we have a lot of dead time i figured you know might as well work on my own car you know teach the other tech some stuff you know maybe learn some stuff while i'm there on this car that i also need to get done you know i figured also while i'm in here i was looking around like just you know everything we did last week and i do have to touch up some things here and there you know a couple of the panels got you know scratched up while i was putting everything back in here the paint did chip a little bit so you know, lucky for me, I have some leftover spray paint. I could just, you know, go over that, make it look like actually like better. Like down there, one of the kick panels on the driver or the passenger side, I'm looking at it right now it is a little bit chipped. And then one of the clips that goes in, I forgot to paint that. So I got to go ahead and do that. That's a little bit chipped. I need to go ahead and repaint that. That clip right there that needs to be painted. And then over here, every time I hit my gas, this thing just goes flying. So I need to super glue this onto that tray right there. And then I gotta figure out why my radio doesn't start. Just a bunch of little issues. You know, it comes with the whole having a project car thing, but yeah. And then of course, you know, I figured while I'm here, I'm gonna mess around with my gauge cluster again. It still doesn't work. I thought I fixed it last time. I thought I fixed it months ago and nothing. So I'm gonna mess around with that, but I'm just rambling at this point. So with that being said, that's gonna be it for this week's video. Drop a like, comment down below. What was your favorite part of this video? And of course, subscribe because I make my same videos every Monday.